All right. Um, back to the menu? Yes, sir. All right. Show me, show me the film cam options. All right. Well, so if we go ahead and um, looking at, uh, at the, uh, the record rates, we saw all that. Uh, we also have uh, variable frame rate mode. And it, we can go 1080 uh, at 24 frame, and we can do 60 frame over crank. So we can get so really Wes, silky most smooth. Most of the time, when I'm trying to do an over crank all the way up to 60 frames, I usually have to be in 720, 24 to yeah. get all the way up to 60. 1080. So you're saying in 1080 at 1080. 24, I can record 60 frames, playback at 24. Absolutely. Different from any camera I've shot on so far, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and just to give you a quick idea, there's a whole bevy of different frame rates that, that, that you can select from here. So this is, uh, this is some really, really nice stuff uh, to be able to do that. Um, when you start looking at the, uh, the handles, we've got all of your typical handles that, that you can work with, uh, including uh, dynamic range stretch, which uh, you can use at all different levels here with this camera, very nice. Uh, we have a whole series of gamma looks that are pre-built in. A lot of these are the, the gammas that people are very familiar with, very comfortable with uh, from the Panasonic look, which has really been come uh, very well uh, accepted across the uh, industry. A uh, couple of color matrix, so we can go ahead and uh, work out uh, those types of things very well. The, um, the other thing is when you start looking at um, uh, the switch mode, this is where it kind of gets very interesting from a film camera versus a video camera. In the film mode, we actually are looking at it as ISOs. So you, said, you can see at the top it says low gain, uh, but now we have ISO uh, 200, and you can see all the different selections all the way up to, to 3200. So on the side of the camera, we have the gain switch, and if you put it in low gain, we'd be able to work with whichever one of these we wanted to set up. And again, those things that, that you save to that scene file, you can then recall. So you can have a number of different looks ready to go right in your camera at any one time. Uh, we also have uh, the user buttons. On the user buttons, we've got uh, several user buttons on the outside of the camera, three user buttons, and we have something called focus assist. Uh, the focus assist provides the ability to have kind of a red peaking outline on your uh, viewfinder. So in, you, know, you have uh, peaking, it's gonna have a red fringe around it where you have your critical focus, which is really important. You know, when you start working with these types of lenses, shallow depth of field, you wanna make sure your focus is, is sharp and that's what you get with the uh, focus assist. So that's a nice uh, feature that we have in here. Uh, we so have, Wes, um, yeah. talk to me about turning the LCD viewfinder into monochromatic and really making it easy to focus. Absolutely, absolutely. So if we go to the display setup uh, in the, the camera menu, um, this gives us the ability, and again, because this is built from the ground up as a video camera, uh, the ability to have zebras, which you come to expect. Uh, we also have YGIT, which is actually a spot meter. So you can go ahead and take a look at a spot meter. We have safety zone. Uh, we've got um, your... Waveform. What's that? Waveform. Yeah, there, there's a waveform. It's actually on a, a button on the outside. Uh, so we do have uh, that. Uh, the focus bar, uh, OSD. So we've got uh, different, uh, different information that we can go ahead and bring in there. And the other, uh, the other thing, this is kind of nice. We were talking about the, the SDI output. On the SDI output, if you want to record to, say, a, a non-compressed, like an S2 or a codex or something to that effect, or some other uh, uh, format, and it's 24 frame, we can output 24 PSF uh, on this, um, on this uh, coax as well as to 60i. So uh, in several other cameras, when you are recording at 2398 or 24 frames per second, the SDI out is still going to be a 60i for you know, pull down purposes. Here Wes is showing us there's an option to either go 24 PSF, the way that you're recording to the cards, or apply that pull down and be 60i so that you're compatible with your switchers, you're compatible with your monitors, et cetera. So uh, there are obviously a ton of features in this camera. It would take a little too long to go through every single one of them. Now I want to talk about so, some of the, the things that really separate this camera from what else is available in the market. And, and really, Wes, what is the 4 thirds inch story? That's what so, I'm okay, for. So, so 4 third inch. Uh, or four thirds, micro four thirds, four thirds, uh, is actually an aperture size is very, very similar to 35 millimeter motion picture. Uh, so it's 17.8 millimeters across uh, versus 22 for 35 millimeter. Uh, and very, very similar. This, the imager was built uh, from the ground up to be motion uh, picture, you know, uh, compatible, but it is working with the four thirds, which has been 
a standard for our SLRs. So, of course, Panasonic makes the Lumix cameras, uh, very well regarded in the still uh, photography uh, environment. And, uh, you know, from that, we basically borrowed the technology, but rebuilt the imager. It's not the still imager. It's rebuilt specifically for video. Um, so four-thirds, there's a number of lenses out there. Lumix uh, certainly makes them. Olympus is also uh, very heavy into to that. But, you know, there's also a number of people who have some really beautiful old Nikon lenses. And we have adapters. There are a number of adapters out there in the world that will go ahead and will make uh, adapt, you know, the old Nikon lenses uh, over to the four-thirds. Uh, there's Canon. Uh, there's also... Uh, PL mounts, so you can take your PL, your, your, um, your Zeiss glass, uh, your PL base glass, and mount this on here and really gives a, a fantastic look. Uh, so can we, can we, speaking of taking a look, yes. I think this would be a good opportunity to now take a look at some of the test footage that's been shot with, with the AF100 using a variety of different lenses. So Verge, if you've got that, uh, if you've got that clip for us. So long, I've been sleeping all along, but I miss you. I've been hanging on the phone, I've been slipping all along, I won't kiss you. Call. Your phone rings. It's just a friend of mine to see. 